Welcome back to more You and Me and Her and Love Story. Here we are, a new day. Ooh. Oh, gosh. I'm so sleepy. I didn't sleep well. I didn't get a wink of sleep. No surprise there. Oh, yeah, we have the cat now. Ariel looks up and meows inquisitively at me. No, no, it's not your fault, little buddy. Wait, that's right, we gotta have breakfast. I always have breakfast. One of the most important meals of the day. Drink up for a ball. Meow. You're right. That was insulting, I'm sorry. With air cradled in one arm, I use my free hand to tilt the syringe. Now then, what next? I feel bad we gotta leave here all by itself during school and stuff. Good morning. Shiji! Oh, Oh boy, what happened now? Stop shouting. <laughs> you know what? Is I look so forward to it. Every video seems to start off with this guy. Not in the least. Don't ignore me. Oh? Really? Well, that's good. Now we can have a, I can have a more healthy romantic outlet. So Don't tell me you're disappointed. Aren't you happy? Yeah. <laughs> he was your brother, man. Yeah, for good reason. そこで相談だ。最近新一、向こうと仲いいだろ。年頃だろ。あ、いいね。そして、向こうはソネさんと仲がいい。ほら、開いた。See what? ソネさんへのロマン街道だよ。Do no can do. Find a different god. This one isn't helping you. Wait a minute, she doesn't have her usual cheery energy. What do you want? Why my Miki's all smiles whenever she walks into the classroom? But today her expression is a stony, and she just spoke to me, the ultimate nobody. All at once, the whole room goes weirdly quiet. What, and go where? Uh, okay. Unwilling to take no for an answer, Miyuki starts to drag me forcefully away. I reluctantly follow her out into the room, trying to ignore all the curious looks we're getting. <laughs> so good. Yutaro's plaintive song echoes out into the hall. Oh god, now the whole class is gonna spread rumors about me for sure. This is the pits. Ugh. You know, homeroom starting. Like, it kind of, you know, it kind of, you know, where it kind of does the school, you know. That hurts. Quit pulling so hard. What is your problem? Dead quiet here in the old gymnasium. Evidently, there's no first period gym class today. We had first period gym when I was a senior in high school. It was weird. I hated it. Like, first thing, you go to the gym right when you get to school. It kind of sucks. Miki drags me all the way to the center of the basketball court. So what do you want? We did piss her off last night. Because she wanted us... We thought she was showing feelings for us because she wanted us to kiss her. Turns out she just wanted to use this as practice for the upcoming play. We didn't really appreciate that because we were like, well, just use your partner. Don't drag me into this. <laughs> we're all alone by the stage. Miki glares deep into my eyes. Kiss, 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 kiss
まだ何か隠してるでしょ Uh oh Oh this music Very inquisitive M Me? Hiding something? I don't know what you're talking about Okay So this isn't about the incident from last night I take it Uh oh Okay, so we thought we should she would just forget about this, but apparently she has not. Huh? Oh, right. God, if I tell her I was looking for clues in a video game, she's gonna kick my ass. I went back to play a video game. Kim. Aoi's acting out scenes from a mobile game. She's been doing it ever since we first met. I wasn't really expecting her to be in here. I... I guess she's just really dedicated to the game script. <sighs> Yuki lets out a heavy sigh. Yeah, you know when we found error? I swear, it was almost like a one-to-one -one reproduction. Huh? Oh, well, I was worried about leaving the little thing all by itself in my house, so I brought him to school. I'm letting him hang out up on the roof for now. And... What if the cat falls off the roof? It's horrible. Oh, well. She has a point. I can't imagine I would go quite that far. Uh, maybe it was a coincidence. Maybe God answered her prayers. I, I don't know. <gasps> Miki, wait, where are you going? Home? For what? When is later? The hell is her deal? Sorry I'm late. By the time I get back, first period's already started. I apologize to the teacher and return to my desk. Hmm? Hey. Hey. Yutara passes me a note, smiling. Did she shoot you down? Ah, she did, didn't she? Damn it. <sighs> I sigh and crumple the note into a ball. When I look up... Oh. It was desk is empty. Is she still feeling sick from yesterday? Probably. Whew, that was good. Ah, uh, always a can of your Bailey's gets me going. Disgusting. How dare we? The empty can clinks as I set it on the ground. It's been a while since I've been up. Last time I ate lunch. Yeah, it's been a while since I last time I ate lunch alone up here. Croquettes and the yakisoba sub, the delicious taste of garbage. Days like these make me realize how much I've been taking Miyuki's home cooking for granted. Ah, those were the days. I'd vaguely hope those days would last forever. Nothing lasts forever. Just get used to it. But our friendship is all fucked up. Ever since that day. The day she confessed her love to me right here on the roof beneath the setting sun. That was the moment it all began. She meant every word of it. She kept those feelings locked away in her heart all this time. Somewhere deep down, I knew. And yet, I let myself get close to her anyway, even though I knew it would only end in misery. Oh. I quickly whipped my phone out, even though I know there's no chance I waste phone of service. The emails are actually from Miyuki. I need to talk to you. Please come by the batting cages tonight. It's important. God, I can't get her lips out of my head. Should I just kiss her like Aoi wants me to? Should I actually try to make her mine? <sighs> the night of the play. All those late nights of rehearsal I've paid off. 
Miyuki practically dances across the stage, bat in hand, flaunting her skills. Her stunning talent makes her more than worthy of the lead role. All eyes are glued to her. She barely needs to lift a finger, and the audience laughs, cries, and gasps right along with her. With Miyuki in the spotlight, the tension builds, drawing the entire auditorium into her magnetic pull. Then at last, the climactic moment. Miyuki swings her bat and hits a home run. The crowd roars in delight. With all her troubles safely behind her, she embraces the romantic lead. Her lips draw close, but I know the truth. Just as she's about to sacrifice her first kiss in order to make the play a roaring success, she'll be trembling in fear. Hold it! Who cares? Come on. Sorry for ruining the play, everybody. But I'm done lying about how I feel. God, I am so fucking full of myself. Pathetic. <laughs> I curse myself for my stupid fantasies. It would ruin the whole play. I'd cause trouble for Miyuki with my selfish desire to keep her from kissing any other guys. I'd be the dead weight that keeps her dragged down. After all, I'm just a nobody. I'm not some Prince Charming who can w wake her with a kiss. Sorry, I have plans, man. Oh, so go. See ya. As soon as class lets out, I grab my things and jump to my feet. Oh, he still hasn't been back to school. Did I make the wrong choice last night? I retrieve Aero from the roof and then head to the Manga Cafe. When I ask about Aoi, the employees instantly know exactly who I mean. They tell me she left the cafe early this morning and has not been back. According to them, she didn't look particularly sick. So why isn't she becoming to sc school? Where is she? Did she go back to her parents' house? Or is something else going on with her? No amount of theorizing is going to help me find an answer. I just don't know enough about her. Simple as that. Back at home, after I feed Eru dinner, I finally have time to catch my breath. It's nearly sundown as I glance at the clock. Miyuki never specified a meetup time beyond tonight, which she probably meant whenever it gets dark outside. I'm sure if I miss it, she'll just email me. I need to talk to you. I can bring her email over and over. I may be dense, but I'm not that dense. I have a pretty good idea exactly what she wants to talk about. The problem is, it'll mean upending our entire existing friendship. See, we think she wants to talk about the kiss, but I don't think so. The minutes just tick by. Is she waiting for me at the batting cages by now? I can picture her standing there alone, swinging her bat in silence. Mental image is enough to make me antsy. We should stay friends. That's what I've told myself all this time. And yet, I, I know, but what if? But, oh, hello? Chill runs out of my spine. My body refuses to move. Maybe it's a door-to-door -door salesman or a street fundraiser. In which case, they'll probably just give up after one try. However, the doorbell keeps ringing, resounds in my head, unending. Before I made up my mind, I'm already on my feet. As I approach the front door, however, I freeze. Maybe they'll leave after that last attempt. I start to reconsider. <sighs> Is it over? They hold my breath and skin for any sense of life. Huh? Aoi? I hastily run to the front door and open it. Aoi tumbles over the threshold into my house. Why does the sheet? What the hell's wrong? Oh my god. I hope she's okay. Oh no. She collapses onto the couch. Her voice is little more than a tiny, feeble whisper. Don't worry, it's going to be alright. Just calm down, okay? Meow. 
With a little affection from her transceiver, Cat AOA seems to regain her composure. You just dropped it somewhere, yeah? I'll help you look for it. Trust me, we'll find it in no time. Of course. Would I lie to you? Arigato. The thing is, uh, I have plans tonight. Can I wait till after? For some reason, I can't bring myself to admit that I'm meeting up with Miyuki. I'll wrap it up real fast and come straight back in. Oh, I clings to my sleeve. Uh, <laughs> anyway, out of nowhere, I suddenly have a flashback of Miyuki as a kid. Of the old her, back when she didn't fit in. Back when I was all she had. All at once, it just clicks. I have no special talent. I suck at schoolwork, and I suck at sports. I'm the ultimate nobody. I know this better than anyone. And yet, I wanted to help her anyway. I wanted to be able to hold my head up high, knowing it was something I achieved all on my own. Maybe then I could learn to accept myself for who I am. You won't disappear. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. Something's come up. Sorry, but I'll be a little late. I know I owe a proper explanation, but I just don't have time. Not that email. Now that the email is on its way, it's time to ask AOA for more details. Where did you lose it? Oh, that's why he was calling in the beginning of the game. God actually calls you. Okay, then when was the last time you remember having it? Batting center ni kumae. Zika mitano. Sono ato. Naino. When did you notice it was gone? Kyo no hasana no. Manga. That's why she, yeah, that's why she hasn't been a school. Batting center. Michi. Hmm. That explains why she wasn't at school. That makes sense, considering she came over last night. She spent most of the time playing with Eru, so it's highly possible she just dropped it somewhere around here. Okay, let's retrace her steps. For last night, first we warmed up the milk. So the memory drifts to the back of my mind, the moment Miyuki told me to kiss her. And right now, she's waiting for me. I'll worry about that later. Depressing my emotions, I focus my energy on the search for AoE's phone. It's nowhere to be found. Where the hell did it go? Is it even here? Or is it just lying in a ditch somewhere? Has someone else found it by now? That's entirely possible. Meow! <laughs> But you're not feeling good, right? I think you should rest and... Uh, okay. I knew it. She hasn't recovered at all. She refuses to heed my advice either. Guess my only option is to hurry up and find her phone. Wait, phone? Hey, Oi, I'll be right back. I dash upstairs to my room. I still have the phone I bought from Yutaru. And that visual novel helped me track down Aoi's location a few days ago. At the time, I thought I was just imitating what she played. But what if the game is actually predicting the events that will happen in real life? <clears throat> I know, it must sound like I have one awful case of gamer brain, but that's all I have to go on right now. It's at least worth a try. Power on the phone and load the game. My save file picks up back with the scene where Aoi is cradling a kitten in the gym. I promptly hit the skip button, and other scenes fly past and fast forward. On and on and on. I look back up to find Aoi clutching the wall, desperate to keep herself upright. Well, Aoi, are you okay? Well, 
What are you babbling about? Hold on, I'll call an ambulance. It's not over. If your God won't help you, then I will. You don't get to decide when it's over. I mean, what are friends for? Damn right. Aoi stares at the ground for a while and murmurs inaudibly to herself, like she's savoring the concept. Then she looks up directly into my eyes. Uh, oh, right. We should wipe that sweat off your face. Be right back. I can't turn a blind eye to her condition. There's got to be some way I can get her to a doctor. But I'm going to need help. Times like these is only one person I know I can recount on. <clears throat> Sorry, but I'm in a bad spot right now. Aoi's not doing so great. I, I can't really explain, but I need your help. My place? Is that cool? Man, can't get friends like that anymore. Thanks, man. I really owe you one. Just like that, Yutaro has agreed to help me. No questions asked. He can be down or obnoxious at times, but he always comes through when it matters most. That's why I love him. So, now the help is on the way. What next? I grab a washcloth and return to my room. I'm back. I immediately avert my gaze. I always is already starting to unbutton her top. Uh, uh, okay. With my eyes still averted, I walk up to her. I can hear her labored breathing. I can feel my gaze being pulled in like a magnet. Fighting the impulse to look, I gently extend the washcloth. Uh, okay, here I go. Huh? Did you say so? Huh? I can hear desperation in her voice. Quietly, I do as she requests. Aoi,電池足りないの。ビリビリ欲しいの。Two words come to mind. Gamer brain. But I shake the thought away. Aoi's feelings are real. And she's suffering. Um, yes, sir. Your God isn't real anyway. All that stuff about batteries and transmissions, it's just your made-up fantasy. That's all it is. Video games are not the same as real life. You're just deluded. If only I could have told her that. <laughs> Tears roll down her cheeks, freezing me in place. I can feel her heat on my skin. The look in her eyes pierces me to the core. I can't bring myself to pull away. Anyway. I lean in close. Just then the doorbell rings and the two of us freeze like deer in headlights. Sorry, it looks like we have a visitor. Call Yutaro over. The two of us are going to help you, okay? Here, put this on. I know it's too big for you. It, it'll have to do. Be sure to put it on before I get back, okay? Can you promise me? Just wear it, okay? I hear one of my old t-shirts and promptly leave the room. 
As I head down the stairs, I sigh in relief. I try to will myself to calm down, but my heart is still pounding like crazy. Saved by the bell, literally. Thank God I thought to call him. He got here a lot faster than I was expecting, too. Friendship is such a beautiful thing. Oh. Oh, it's... Miyuki, it's you. I'm so happy to see you. This is what I want to say, but huh? Her baseball bat clatters to the ground. D no, that's not it. Huh? I looked down at the pair of women's shoes lying in the entryway. This is gonna get very awkward very quickly. N n no, uh. It's not what it looks like. Wait, wait. Wait, I said wait. Oh boy. Barry tries to rub against Miki's leg, but she shows no interest. Instead, she continues to search Melody in her. I'm not gonna be able to talk her down from this. So instead, I resolve to tell her the truth. Miyuki, just hear me out. I can explain. You know how important her phone is to her? Well, the thing is, it's gone missing. She was freaking out, saying she'll lose her memories without it. So I've been helping her look. I, I mean, not, not really, but. No. Well, Aoi kind of chose me. She isn't feeling well. Poor girl can barely stand. After searching the living room with no luck, she promptly heads for the stairs. Don't! Hey! Oh crap, she's heading to my room. Oh, I might still be in the middle of getting dressed. Miyuki, will you please just slow down? I chase after her up to the second floor. Oh god, please be decent. I find her standing silently at the entrance to my room, perfectly still. Is she holding back her rage, or...? Hesitantly, I peer past her into my room. It's... It's empty. It was gone. Did she really disappear? Where is I, 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 I don't know. Wait! Maybe she'd have to go look for her phone. She, she was really out of it. She probably put mine on by mistake when she left. Hmm. Nuki doesn't sound the least bit convinced. Even I know it's a shitty cover story. I just don't want things to get any worse. So, you... Is that Aoi's phone? <gasps> Aoi gasps oddly from under the bed. My stomach turns to ice, but Miyuki carries on. Where did you find it? I came here to give it back. So she had to have known she was here. So she read, she read the game too. I'll hold on to it for her. I raise my voice up a notch to drown out Aoi's whisper. She'll probably be back for her shoes later, sooner or later anyway. Thank you. The phone tumbles to the ground, slides across the floor into the bed. Miyuki slowly lowers herself to the floor. Wait, Miyuki, I'll get it. <laughs> Miyuki's smile doesn't reach her eyes. I silently scream at her to stop, but my prayers fall on deaf ears. She reaches all the way under the bed and falls still. <laughs> Miyuki drags Aoi out from under the bed. Listen, I can explain. <laughs> Stop! 
Miki draws back her hand and I seize her by the arm. Please, let's just stay calm. Tra thrashing against my grip, she rounds on Aoi. I'm telling you, you've got the wrong idea. Now dressed in her still damp overshirt, AOA raises her hand to speak for the first time since the fight started. Her expression is so blank, it sends a chill down my spine. <laughs> Miyuki, none of that happened. Miyuki tries once more to raise her hand against Aoi, but I narrowly hold her back. Just stop! Aoi, where did all that come from? Oh, wait, what are you? Bye bye. Oh, he walks out of the room and vanishes from sight. I chase after her. Oh, wait, wait. You let go of me. She's not well. Too bad. Now let go, damn it. She spins me around to face her. What? I can't escape. I can't fight it. I'm scared. Here comes. Don't. Stop. Don't finish that sentence. I exhale. My knees are weak. My mind is blank. I didn't want to hear it. I didn't want her to say it. We both know it's forbidden. An unspoken agreement. What she just said will destroy everything. Slowly, Miki's lips draw near. No lips. I wanted to kiss them so badly I've been seeing it in my dreams. We're only inches apart now. So I... I... My phone's ringing. Give me a second. Shichi! It's Chitaru. He's probably calling about Aoi. I mean, trash reason for it. Trash reason Aoi is my excuse. I know that, but it's the only choice I have. Uh, oh boy, that does. That sounds really bad when you think about it. I can hear a note of pleading in her voice. Her eyes are swimming with tears. But I look away. Hello. I'm sorry. Would you? 
I really owe you one. Now where were we? I hang up and look around the room. But Miyuki's... Oh, she's already gone. No. Fuck.